morning guys. Today's gonna be one of those days where it's just, it's busy. First I gotta edit and upload today's video. Feels good, it's been a little while. Time to eat some breakfast. Kai, how's the breakfast? Now I'm gonna call, uh, it's on mute. Uh, it's about the secret company, it's going well. New video is up. Hope you guys like it. Feels good to be back. It's also the first video, uh, the whole video that I edited on Final I'm Cut Pro and uh, feels good. I'm watching Frozen 2. Kai's watching Frozen 2. Lunch, Kai's still watching Frozen 2. Uh, these are English muffin pizzas with ketchup as the sauce. Don't judge me, it's delicious. Share it up and now I gotta head to the office. Tomorrow I'm gonna be taking this Tesla on a, like a real racetrack. Uh, gonna be driving around on the track. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna need, what I gotta pack, charge, all that stuff because uh, yeah, I, I can't really be like holding a camera while I'm driving so I'm gonna have to like figure out some sort of suction cup mount thing. I feel like I need the straight pipes for this. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the Mavic Air 2, I'm gonna bring the Mavic 2 Pro uh, controllers, and then I'm gonna use some suction cups, and I'm actually not even gonna take a GoPro or anything. I'm just gonna take these Insta360 cameras. Uh, I just find them to be a lot more handy and a lot more useful, and uh, what I'm probably gonna do is take this suction cup and then stick this like this, and I'll stick this on the back or the front. Uh, I don't know if front is a bad. I'm gonna try to stick it on the car uh, and then have my 360 camera here. And that makes it look like there's like a drone following the car because the stick disappears. Yeah, 360 camera is just way more fun to use for, uh, for action stuff. So uh, hopefully I'm not missing anything. I do feel like I need the 7200. I need those like fast shots because in case I'm not actually driving that fast, I need to make it look like I am driving fast. Tri okay, speaking of, let's let's talk about mini tripods for a second. Okay, ever since I've started dabbling and vlogging more, I've been trying to figure out what is the best like mini tripod because uh, the traditional Joby Gorillapod definitely has some weaknesses to it. This isn't the one that I normally use. It's, I'm using it right now. Uh, this is a little bit smaller one. But it's always loosening up and bending too much and your camera falls over and all that stuff. And it's definitely limited. So I've been trying to figure out, is there a better solution for like a mini tripod for YouTube filmmaking, vlogging, all that stuff. So why don't we go through some mini tripods? First off, there's this little guy. It's the Manfrotto uh, Pixie, I think, or something like that. Uh, it's very basic. It just basically folds out like that, and it has a nice little button here to move the camera around. Uh, not much to this one. It's nice, really high quality build. Uh, very easy to set up, put down. Uh, easy to put your camera on there, and very easy to adjust your camera on here. The only downside is it doesn't take very big of a camera. It can't hold a ton of it can't hold a ton of weight. It's gonna start moving around. So that's the downside. Plus, you don't get very much height. That's that's all you get. There's no there's no adjusting. There's no nothing. But for vlogging with a smaller camera, and if you need to just set it down quickly, pretty handy. I think this is like the big brother to the smaller Pixie. I think it's. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's basically the same thing except for these legs extend a little bit. So you get a little bit of adjustment. And uh, let's say the ground isn't completely even, uh, you can kind of work with that. So that's really great. It doesn't, however, have the same easy button to adjust the top. You have to actually unscrew this and then you can do this. So it's a little bit more of a pain. I really do like this little button system on the, the Pixie Mini, I'm not sure what they're called. But this does hold a bigger camera, so uh, you could put like a DSLR on here if you wanted to, and you have some adjustability. Then there's this guy from Joby, which I thought was really interesting. It's like a mix of like a little tripod, but it also extends. So it's like a mix of a, like one of those like selfie extendable sticks or like the, the ones that I use for my 360 cameras and a little, you know, 
tripod stand like that. Now, I thought this might be like a really cool way. You can easily hold it just like this and film yourself. And if you want to do like a longer angle, you can. Um, the downside is you really can't put like any weight on this thing. I was hoping I could, you know, like set it up like this and get a little bit of higher angle, you know, like a little talking angle from a little bit higher, but this thing does not take any weight really. Uh, as soon as you put some weight on it, it's just flopping around like crazy. So you can only use like maybe like a GoPro on here or something, like a very, very small light camera. But it is an interesting design. It just doesn't really work for me. And then we have the good old Gorilla Pod, and this uh, was made popular by uh, Big YouTuber, big vlogger, Casey Neistat, influenced so many people, including me. Uh, and the reason why I think he was using this in the beginning was to get it further away from him so he could get a nicer, uh, wider shot. And that was because he was on a crop sensor camera, the 80D, I believe, or 70D in the beginning. And so he would put it out further away so you could get, you know, not just his face cropped in. And also this is really convenient. It's easy to set up on the ground. Uh, if you need to like hang it off something, you can do that. Uh, there's just a lot of versatility to this one. You can get it really low, you can get it a little bit higher, really easy to use. And then also these, these little like bubbles are just like really easy to grip onto. No matter where you hold it, you get like an instant grip on it. So uh, yeah, the Gorilla Pod has been kind of like the vlogger's choice. Now the downside is that, like I said, a lot of times it does just kind of fall over. They start getting loose over time. In the beginning it's nice and nice and stiff and then uh, over time it gets loose and then like, I, I don't know how many times my camera has just been like Ngh! And I used to watch Casey's vlogs and I was like, man, he's just not taking care of his stuff. But now I totally understand you set your camera up on one of these and you look away for like five seconds and it's already about to fall over. So. That's one of the downsides. Plus, you can't get very high. You always need something to place this on in order to film. You can't get like a tripod shot. So, that's why I decided to try this guy, the Peak Design Travel Tripod, which is like a really small, lightweight tripod. And this thing is just incredible. I think it is the best tripod I've ever used in this like smaller form factor. The whole design is really clever. It's so easy to use. It's lightweight. I just could not say more good things about this tripod. And after using it for a couple weeks, it just doesn't feel right. There's something off about it for vlogging. I don't know if it's the fact that it takes a little bit longer to set up, to put down, or it's just a little bit harder to grab onto instead of like this. Uh, there's something about it that's been like almost hindering my vlogging process. Vlogging is an interesting thing. You're always striving to make it the most natural and genuine. And so I'm trying to capture as things are happening, instead of having to like, like fake things, I don't like faking things in vlogs. So uh, if I can set something up really quickly, you know, maybe Kai's doing something funny, I can just quickly set up the camera there and then uh, capture him versus like having to get the tripod out and like setting it up, setting it up, setting it up, I'm setting, still setting it up. Uh, okay, then I get the, the fit. And then, and then the moment's already gone, or then I, I'd have, if, in order to get that shot, I'd have to be like, hey, Kai, can you do that same thing again? And that just doesn't feel right to me. If I wouldn't do it in normal life, I, I'm not gonna do it for the vlog. Uh, so there's something, something off, and I think it has mostly to do with the fact that just the nature of a tripod, it takes a little bit longer to set up versus uh, something like the Joby Gorilla Pod. So, all this to say, after uh, I bought all of these, actually no, Peak Design sent me this one, but the rest I, I bought just out of curiosity because I wanted to find out what is the best little mini tripod for YouTube, for vlogging, all that stuff. And uh, as much as I'd hate to say it, I think the Gorilla Pod is the best answer right now. Now some of you might be saying, what about the Switch Pod? The switch pod, it's, I like that they're trying something new, but it's still not versatile enough for me. It's fast to set up. It doesn't have the issue of falling over unless it's on uneven ground because you can't adjust it at all. 
but it's just not versatile enough. Like if I want a really low shot, uh, I can't do that with the switch pod. You get that same height always. And so for me, that's just more of a hindrance than having to do with the, the floppiness of a Joby Gorilla Pod. But that being said, I do think there is room for innovation, for improvement. So if you have any good ideas, please comment down below with them and maybe one of these manufacturers will see them or email one of them or tweet at them. I would love to see an even better version of this because this has basically been the exact same. I think the only thing that Joby's really done is made them like basically be able to hold more weight, make them a little bit more rigid. But other than that, the design hasn't changed at all. And I think there is room for maybe like, like a combination of something like this, where this kind of like telescopes up or something like that. There's gotta be some sort of better way, or maybe that part of this is a lot more rigid, like the switch pod, and then part of it is this like really bendable, versatile uh, sort of thing like the Gorilla Pod. I apologize for rambling about this, you probably don't care, but uh, it's been on my mind, so I'm sharing it with you guys. Okay, back to packing. All right, I think this is what I'm gonna be bringing tomorrow, but there's one more. Oh, this is a cage I ordered because Potato Jet said that this would be a good cage for uh, Oh, Polar Pro, thank you for sending me more, or was it Peter? Thank you for sending me another set of these variable NDs. I asked for it because I'm always forgetting variable NDs, I hate it. This company sent me this drone also. Another day. Okay, so this, this whole bunch of stuff, um, it's basically meant to make your Mavic 2 Pro into like a 360 camera drone so that it would essentially stitch out the drone and you could choose whatever angle you want, which sounds pretty uh, convenient for filming cars because cars are moving around really fast. It's hard to move the gimbal around and fly it properly to capture everything. If you could just worry about flying in a cool way and then afterwards and post select whatever shot, up, down, sideways, whatever you want, that would be really convenient for tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna try to set this up and see if we can get it up and running tomorrow. <laughs> so this is like the brains of the 360 camera, the battery on this side, and then there's one lens on top and one on. I just realized it's actually gonna be pretty hard to launch this by myself. I'm gonna have to hold it because, uh, I mean, I guess I could set it in the grass maybe, but uh, the lens is on the bottom and sticks out. So like, you can't just put it on like. Hopefully that footage was decent. <sighs> okay, time to get packed up. Kai, okay, what you doing? Uh, Pepper forgot his teddy. How's mama, baby? Good. Good day? Yeah. It is six o'clock and I still gotta go to the grocery store, edit this vlog, maybe answer some emails. Groceries have been purchased. Kai's finally going to bed and I should be starting my edit, but I couldn't help but go for a run. See you tomorrow. What you guys don't see uh, in these YouTube videos is that just for those couple shots, it took me probably like two hours setting up this whole thing, walking over here. And you guys just get it in like a couple minutes, a minute maybe.